I do have one more question. I feel like this is an intense question, but I like to ask it to every one of my guests. Okay, this is ever evolving and your answer could change tomorrow, but at this point in your life, what is your current meaning of life? <laughs> of my life or life? At either like what like right now in in your life like what what's the meaning of life to you? Like if you had to define it. Well, everything changes once you have kids. Um, for me, it's my job, my responsibility to raise my two kids to be the one to keep them safe, keep them off drugs, keep her off the pole, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> off but, the uh, pole. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> um, basically to be a good enough role model because kids learn from what they see, right? Yeah. I, and when you have kids, you, if you have kids, you know this. You can tell them all day, they don't listen. But they role model what they see. So to be healthy to be disciplined to be um even keel like don't which i struggle with because i'm a meathead and i like to flip out um but it's basically to do to be the best that i can be because i know they're watching and i know they're going to grow up to be a version of what they saw of me so it's to basically just be the best i can for them and in turn if I'm like, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm disciplined, try to stay healthy, you know, don't eat shit, don't drink, don't do drugs, all that kind of stuff. That effect, hopefully it's called like a ripple effect. Well, other people will notice mm -hmm. and maybe it'll rub off on them. Like I do these stupid cold plunges in the morning. I've had people have reach out to me like, hey, what is this? I want to try it. Like I'm not, like I said, I'm not selling it, but trying to lead by example. Like this is what I do and these are the benefits that I'm getting. Yeah. If that positively affects other people besides just my kids, that's even better. That's funny you, you know? say that because um, I, one of my idols at the moment is Jordan Peterson. I love him. Um, he, which, by the way, he's in a lot of trouble right now. That's like a he whole, always he's always in a lot th of trouble. Like when whole, I first heard of him, he was in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And then he, what do you what do you do now? He's he, well, uh, that's like a whole nother. Or what didn't he do he, that he's being? <laughs> I think he's he uh, he. Uh, look, long story short, I think. He's at risk of losing his license. I did hear this. And um, uh, I did hear, yeah, his, like, this psychology is license. fucked up shit. Yeah, it's actually pretty fucked up. Yeah. Um, but apparently, we'll save this for another time. Yeah, we could save this for another time. <laughs> but I just want to explain to the audience in a nutshell what's going on. He is at risk of losing his um, license to be able to uh, for psychology um, because of some behavior he had on Twitter. Um, so he's being asked to do some type of social media retraining program. Um, to teach him how to properly, apparently some of the things he said on Twitter is a, is a shame to the psychology business and he, he they're asking him to basically retrain his habits. He needs to be re-educated. He re-educated. And then apparently at the end of the training program, they get to decide if he learned. Fuck off. So that's like a whole nother <laughs> conversation. But like, just to stay on, on target with what I was talking about. Yeah. Did I answer that question? I what was the question? I don't even remember what the question was. The, mean, the meaning of life. Oh, no, you did. Okay, Okay, good. so you did. Like, So where I was getting with that was you said something about how it's like your inspiration to other people is like a ripple effect. That is something that I learned from Jordan Peterson, which really inspired me. He said that um, pretty much what you said in different words. He basically said that you might not think you could have an impact on society just by being one ind individual person, but you have no idea how much you do because you're not just one person, you're a network. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, whatever, do your cold plunge, set a good example, that you're going to then set a good example for one other person who's going to set a good example for another person. And it's going to, it's going to be like a ripple effect, mm -hmm. like you said, or like a, a network. And just hearing him say that, which is like, again, going to the thing about him getting in trouble. It's so sad to me that he's getting accused of being bad for society and bad for the field of psychology, because psychologically I had such a positive impact from that statement to the point where I've almost like completely changed my life from it you know what i mean where mm -hmm. i'm just like like just hearing those words just hearing him say that like hey you're the way you carry yourself impacts so many people really got me to think and i'm just like holy shit i need to take care of myself mm -hmm. so it's funny you say that i because i would say right now in the point i'm at in life i have a similar meaning of life too my purpose of life right now is to be the best i could be to influence other people mm -hmm. yeah you if you want to if you really want to change the world like change yourself yeah like work on yourself like yeah make your bed like yeah. be disciplined like yeah. that kind of thing yeah no if more people worked on themselves it could have a bigger impact and here's the thing know? it's hard it's difficult hard to ch change yourself hard to be to disciplined and 
you know, do the best you can constantly every day. Avoid distractions. Avoid people, yeah. the negative people that are telling you, laughing at you about your dreams and all that shit. It's hard. That, that's what I mean. It's like people, I think people really desire to be in a pack. So if most of the pack is fuck it if most of the pack is like fuck it have a cigarette have a drink don't go to the gym if that's what most of the pack is doing and you're afraid to be alone then you're probably going to join that pack but i think for me the idea is to to build that build the positive mm -hmm. pack bigger you yeah. know what i mean well that's in the back of our brains that goes back to how our brains evolved yeah like as human beings right yeah if we had to be a pack to survive, if you were kicked out of the group for whatever reason, yeah. you're fucking dead. Like you're yeah. you were gonna get bit by a snake or eaten yeah. by a fucking tiger, or whatever. So yeah. it's it's in there in our DNA, like yeah. to to be like connected, to be part of a group. Yeah. So like that's why <laughs> I don't want to open up a can of worms. But like but part of like depression that I went through when I was a kid was because like I didn't have fr like I didn't have a lot of friends like I was lonely like that's one of the worst fucking feelings to yeah. feel like you don't exist yeah like it's like or that you're just invisible like yeah. it's fucking awful like there's a reason for that yeah it's not like oh I, I like being alone well yeah but there's a part of your brain way back where where it's like no we need to be connected with somebody like in a group that's a major lesson I learned last year is I went through a phase where I was like I'm a businesswoman and I I don't have time for a boyfriend I don't have time for love like I I'm, I'm a career woman and then I like that was kind of like a message I guess you could say society was saying oh, it just, pumps, that's which is just like you don't, need, you don't need love like you you just need to take care of, you just need to love yourself and then I was like I believe that and I was like okay I just gotta love myself I gotta take care of myself but in the back of my head even though I was doing everything that I was quote unquote supposed to do I was miserable and I was crying every day and I was depressed and I finally was like wow I could have a love and a career I don't have to choose one mm -hmm. and without the love the career seems meaningless